welcome students to the maths class this is your maths book and today we will start with chapter number 12 ratio and proportion aims and objectives students will be able to learn about ratio understand about the unit of ratio learn about proportion put number into ratio and proportion find equivalent ratios recognize and apply ratios and proportions to solve real life problems dictionary what is ratio comparing of two quantities in terms of how many times this comparison is known as ratio symbol of ratio is this equivalent ratios if we multiply or divide both the numerator and denominator by the same number then we get the equivalent ratio proportion if we say that two ratios are equal then it is called proportion unitary method if we find the value of one unit then calculate the value of the required number of units then this method is called the unitary method extreme terms and middle terms of proportion the first and the fourth term in the proportion are called the extreme terms and the second and the third terms are called the middle or the mean terms ratio if we compare two quantities using division then it is called ratio it compares quantities in terms of how many times the symbol to represent ratio is this it reads as 4 is to 3 it can also be written as 4 upon 3 this is 4 is to 3 it can be represented like this two quantities can be compared only if they are in the same unit example father's age is 75 years and the daughter's age is 25 years the ratio of father's age to the daughter's age is father's age divided by daughter's age here it is 3 father's age is 3 and daughter's age is 1 so it can be represented as 3 is to 1 difference between fractions and ratios a fraction describes a part of a whole and its denominator represents the total number of parts example 13 means one part out of three parts a ratio is a comparison of two different quantities example in a society 10 people like driving 20 people like swimming and the total number of people in society is 30 the ratio of the number of people liking driving to the number of people is 10 is to 30 whereas the ratio of the number of people liking swimming to the number of people liking driving is 20 is to 10 equivalent ratios if we multiply or divide both the numerator and denominator by the same number then we get the equivalent ratio there could be so many equivalent ratios of the same ratio in the case of equivalent ratios only their value changes but they represent the same portion of the quantity for example let let us find two equivalent ratios of 2 upon 4 to get an equivalent ratio we multiply both the numerator and the denominator with 2 Two upon four is equal to two multiplied by two divided by four multiplied by two. This gives us the answer four upon eight. To get another equivalent ratio, we divide both the numerator and denominator by two. Here, two is divided by two upon four is divided by two. That gives us one upon two. So, from the above figure, we can see that in all equivalent ratios, only the number of equal parts is changing. but the ratios are representing the half part of the circle only the lowest form of the ratio if there is no common factor of numerator and denominator except one then it is the lowest form of the ratio for example find the lowest form of the ratio 25 is 200 the common factor of 25 and 100 is 25 so we divide both the numerator and denominator by 25 25 divided by 25 gives us 1 and 100 divided by 25 gives us 4 so the lowest form of 25 is 200 is 1 is to 4 proportion if we say that two ratios are equal then it is called proportion a upon b is equal to c upon d 
वी कैन राइट इट एज ए इज टू बी प्रपोर्शन सी इज टू डी और ए इज टू बी इक्वल टू सी इज टू डी एंड इट कैन बी रेड एज ए इज टू बी एज सी इज टू डी extreme terms and middle terms of proportion if two ratios are not equal then these are not in proportion unitary method if we find the value of one unit then calculate the value of the required number of units then this method is called the unitary method for example if the cost of book books is the if the cost of three books is 320 rupees then what will be the cost of six books so here cost of three books is 320 rupees so cost of one book will be 320 divided by 3 rupees and cost of six books will be 320 divided by 3 multiplied by 6 that is 640 rupees so the cost of six books is 640 rupees this is the assignment that you have to do in your practice notebook Thank you